The world is already lining up for the re-release of The Empire Strikes Back. You said you want to be around when I made a mistake. Well, this could be it, sweetheart. I take it back. Make no mistake, this is the hottest ticket in town. The Chinese theater in Hollywood was the center of the universe Thursday night as the hardcore Star Wars fans lined up to be first to see the re-release of the second opus of the sci-fi trilogy. I am number one. I was here from 5 o'clock in the morning. I come from Palmville, and my name is Lewis. And uh, the reason I came here is because I love Empire Strikes Back. I think it's one of the best movies uh, ever made. Not only that, I think it has a little bit more plot, more action. It has better battle scenes. Of course, many of these fans were too young to see Star Wars or The Empire Strikes Back in their original theatrical releases. But 21 years ago, Luke, Leia, and Han Solo were younger, too. However, David Banks now, too, is still secure. Well, I think that we ought to have the reward that you're talking about. In 1976, Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, and Mark Hamill had to audition with screen tests for the lead roles in Star Wars, like any group of relatively unknown actors. How are we going to get to the Rebels before she breaks? The Empire already beat us here. She's part of the royal family. They won't get any information from her. She knows the art of mind control. Set your harpoon. Follow me on the next pass. When The Empire Strikes Back was released in 1980 to an eager audience of Star Wars fans, the cast members were already in danger of being forever typecast. I'll be remembered for Luke Skywalker. It's kind of scary to think that, you know, wait a minute, if they've got my the first line of my obit already written, that's not fair. But you know what? It keeps making you reaching for the brass ring. You see what I'm saying? I mean, uh, I, maybe I'll never be in anything that has that big an impact culturally and everything else. But you never stop trying. So in a way, the upcoming re-release of The Empire Strikes Back will reunite old friends who have come a long way together. Well, how many more systems have to get blown away before you have no place to hide your force to fight? Don't you realize what's going on? The Empire Strikes Back is in re-release now, while Star Wars is still playing in a couple of thousand theaters around the galaxy. And I know what I'm going to do this weekend. I'm going to go see that. Empire Strikes Back. <laughs>